Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing perfect salmon. We're going to do the steps it takes to make absolutely crispy skin and also skin off. Not everybody likes skin on. One of the good things though about the skin is that's where most of the omega-3s are. And we've always hear about omega-3s and how healthy they are for us, which is really a strong antioxidant. If y'all didn't know, that's what, any, that's what omega-3s are. So when you cook the salmon correctly with the skin on, the skin is supposed to be crispy. It's supposed to be something you actually want to eat. It's not soggy, which most people think of when they think about fish skin. So we're going to cook the skin nice and crisp, and we're also going to remove the skin because it's good to know how to remove skin. So here we go. We've got our portion out piece right here. Take one last look. Make sure there's not any pin bones in there, little bitty micro bones that you don't want to eat. It's always good to inspect that yourself. So what I'm doing there is I'm looking for a side that I can start with the knife. So I'm going to place the knife underneath, get a little start. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to flip it over, getting it started again, and then pinch and pull the skin, and then just wiggle back and forth, really gently, just back and forth, little by little. And you don't need a big knife like I have there. It's a regular knife will work just fine. And you flip over, and you see the skin came off perfectly. That little piece of skin there could be fried up by itself, cut up, and used as like a garnish in a salad, things like that, because it's really healthy. A lot of omega-3s there. So I'm making the cut on the left side a little bit smaller because that's the center cut portion of the fish. It's going to be thicker. So this way, both pieces, you get the same amount. So it's something to think about. So we're going to salt this up with some sea salt. One of the things you want to make sure when you're, when you're seizing your fish is that you get all the sides. Often people miss the sides there, and the salt brings out the flavor. So be sure to get your salt over there. You can see right there how the one on the side isn't as thick as the one on the left, and that's why I cut the one on the left a little bit thinner. All right, let's add some more flavor. One of the coolest things about salmon of most all the fishes is it can handle big flavor. Most fish is delicate, and that's the word you often hear, so you use balanced flavors. But with salmon, it can take big flavor like teriyaki. I love using hoisin sauce. You guys should really try that. It's amazing. You just paint it on, boom, you're off to the races. So we're going to use a little olive oil here, and you want to make sure that the pan wasn't too hot because we don't want to just scorch the skin. But we're going to cook skin side down, and that's we're going to give it a really good head start on the cooking. You'll be able to see here in a moment, we're going to see how the heat starts cooking it from the bottom up, and you can see it how it turns a little bit gray as it's letting you know that the cooking process is really has started. We're going to give it a little, you know, it's a good minute and a half, two minutes there. We're really cooking that skin. We're giving it a good chance to get crispy for us. See right there how you can see how it's starting to come up the side? You don't want to let it come up too far because if it comes too far, the skin's going to be burnt, for one. And we don't want to overcook our salmon. Whenever we're done and we pull it off in heat, we have to remember there's carryover cooking. So it's still going to be cooking a little bit. So we want to pull it off when it's just a little bit under because then it'll be perfect by the time you're sitting at the table eating it. Butter offers a beautiful color and it does add you know some nice flavor and we love butter especially here at butter and time <laughs> we love butter and use high quality butter stuff like country crock and all that that's not even butter <laughs> good butter in the store only costs about three dollars anyway you shouldn't have to spend more than that so we're basting you see that beautiful color we've got in there really great so this whole cooking process takes about five minutes and we're done you could easily have stuck this in the oven and let it do its thing. I would go for about 375 on the temperature. Wonderful. Plating, you can do whatever you guys like. I made a yogurt sauce here. Just got a little bit of lime, cilantro, pinch of salt in there. Really nice pairing there. This is some sauteed kale. It's with just a little bit of shallot. And then look for where it looks nicest. You want to give it a little bit, the plate, a little bit of height. And there you guys go. We have cooked salmon with skin on perfectly, and we learned how to remove the skin. So that really, you're ready to go with salmon. <laughs> Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Next, we're going to be doing bronze salmon, which is really cool. Check us on social media. Please hit the subscribe button. Recipe card will be on the website with all the instructions. You guys have the best. Take care.